Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on consistency of premises and inconsistency of premises. So these are the two points that we are discussed in the in this video. Okay, first of all, when we can say that the given premises are consistent. Okay, so for example, I am taking the premises. Uh, P or Q is one premise and the negation P is another premise. Okay, these premises are said to be consistent if their conjunction. So that means P or Q and negation P. Okay, if their conjunction contains a truth value true for at least one possible combination of truth values of the statement variable P and Q. Hence, we can say that these two premises are said to be consistent. Okay. Here, how many number of statement variables are there? Here, only P and Q. Okay. Therefore, the number of statement variables in the given premises is N is equal to 2. Okay. How many number of possible truth values when the number of statement variables n is equal to 2 that is a 2 power n. So that is equal to 2 power 2 that is a 4 possible truth values. Now I am taking the two statement variables p and q. Possible truth values are true true, true false, false true, false false. Okay. Here negation p I am taking. So, if the p-value is a true, negation p is false. If the p-value is a true, negation p is false. If the p-value is false, negation p is true. If the p-value is false, negation p is true. Another one, p or q. So, p or q is a false only. P-value is a false and the q-value is false. Then, p or q is a false. In the remaining all cases, it is a true. Okay, the last column is the conjunction of the given premises. So, P or Q is the first premise. Negation P is another premise. In between them, conjunction symbol that is and is there. Okay, here this is the first one and this is the second one. True and false is nothing but false. True and false is nothing but false. True and true is nothing but true. False and true is nothing but false. Okay, so in that conjunction of the given premises, at least it contains only one possible truth values. Okay, here in this place, we are containing the possible truth value is true if the conjunction of the given premises contains at least one possible truth values. Okay, when P truth value is a false and Q truth value is true, then the conjunction of the premises contains the truth value true. Okay. Hence, we can say that these given premises are said to be consistent. Okay. So, the above premises P or Q and negation P are consistent because P or Q and negation P is true only when P is false and Q is true. Here, P is false and Q is true, then P or Q and P value is true. Okay. So, now go for the definition. A set of premises H1, H2, HM are the M number of premises. These premises are said to be consistent. Okay. If the conjunction, that means H1 and H2 and HM has the truth value true, in at least one possible situation. Here, how many number of possible situations are there? Four possible situations are there. Among the four possible situations, at least one possible truth value is there among the four possible situations. Hence, we can say that P or Q and negation P are said to be consistent. Okay. This is the procedure we have to follow. Okay, so simply we can say that the definition of uh, consistency of premises is nothing but we are taken n number of premises 
H1, H2, H3 up to Hm. These m number of premises are said to be consistent if their conjunction, that means H1 and H2 and H3 and up to and Hm contains the truth value true among all the possible situations. At least one possible situation has the truth value true among all the possible situations. Hence, we can say that these m number of premises are said to be consistent. Here, only I am considering two premises. So, these two premises are said to be consistent if their conjunction contains a truth value true in one possible situation among the four possible situations. Okay. So, whenever p value is the false and q value is true, if their conjunction contains the truth value true. Okay. At least one possible situation means it contains uh, one possible situation, it has the truth value true. Two possible situation, it has the truth value true. Three possible situation, it has the truth value true. Four possible situations, it has the truth value true. But it should consider at least one possible situation, it contains the truth value true. Hence, we can say that these premises are said to be consistent. So, in this situation, these two premises are said to be consistent when P truth value is a false and Q truth value is a true, then the, this conjunction of these two premises is true. Okay. So, at one possible truth values of P and Q, this conjunction has the truth value true. Hence, we can say that these two premises are said to be consistent. Okay. Now, now we go for second one, inconsistency of premises. Okay. So, here I am taking two premises, negation P and Q and P. Okay. These premises are said to be inconsistent if their conjunction contains the truth value false in all possible situations. Okay. Here, how many number of statement variables are there? So, only two. That is, n is equal to 2. How many number of possible truth values? So, that is 2 power n. So, that is 2 power 2. That is equal to 4 possible situations. Among the 4 possible situations, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. In all possible situations, the conjunction of the given premises contains only truth value false. Hence, we can say that these premises are said to be inconsistent. Okay. So, now I am taking the two statement variables P and Q. Okay. Next, I am taking negation P. Next, I am taking negation and P. Next, the conjunction of the two premises negation P and Q and P. Okay. So, P value is true. Negation P is false. P value is true. Negation P is false. P value is false, negation P is true, P value is false, negation P is true. Negation P and Q, here negation P, here Q, in between them, conjunction, F and true, if false and true is nothing but false, false and false is nothing but false, true and true is nothing but true, true and false is nothing but false. Okay, next. Here, the conjunction of the two premises put in the last column of the truth table. First premise, negation P and Q. Second premise, P. So, here, negation P and Q. Here, P is there. False and true. That is false. False and fa true. That is false. True and false. That is false. False and false. That is false. Okay. So, in all possible situations, okay, the conjunction of the two premises contains only false value. Hence, we can say that these two premises are said to be uh, inconsistent. Okay. The above premises are inconsistent because the conjunction of the two premises is uh, false in all possible situations. All possible situations means in all possible truth values of the statement variables. How many number of possible situations are there? Four possible situations. Among the four possible situations, 
all possible truth values contains only false value hence we can say that these premises are said to be inconsistent now go for the definition a set of premises h1 h2 h3 up to hm that means m number of premises are there these m number of premises are said to be inconsistent if their conjunction h1 and h2 and h3 and up to hm has the truth value false in every possible situation here four possible situations are there among the four possible situations the conjunction of the two premises contains only truth value false hence we can say that these premises are said to be inconsistent okay so that is the difference between consistency and inconsistency among all the four possible situations the conjunction of the two premises contains only false value hence we can say that these premises are said to be inconsistency of premises okay among all the four possible situations it contains at least one possible truth value okay at least one possible truth value hence we can say that these premises are said to be consistent okay so i hope all of you understanding the differences between consistency and inconsistency of premises by using truth table method so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so the bell icon is also there thank you